I'm gonna go through some of my, my biggest influences in music. And uh, this one's real fitting because uh, it's that kind of, if you're trying to relax, um, if you're trying to just feel good um, and reset, uh, and I'll just hear something beautiful. Uh, for me, one of my biggest influences is pianist named George Winston. Probably familiar with him if you collect vinyl records, if you're just in the music, like all kinds of different music, uh, you're probably familiar with him. He's not, a, he's not obscure, although you could say like piano music is kind of like an obscure genre, right? But he's not an obscure artist by any means. Um, Winston goes back, back into, I think, the late 70s, uh, although he really hit it big in the 80s. Uh, I think the first real, you know, uh, popular album he put out, and by popular, I do mean that it was like three or four million records were sold, was his uh, December album, right? Um, I discovered him, I believe, like in a Goodwill in Ohio. I, I saw one of his vinyl records. It was um, maybe Autumn or Winter in the Spring, one of those. And that's another thing about him is he uh, he does a lot of themes, right? His albums are themed, uh, and it's a lot of a lot of it has to do with nature. Um, and for the longest time, right, um, na nature and seasons. And for the longest time, I used to think that um, what that meant was the music was like personifying whatever that it was. So, for example, like like if for example, if a song, uh, he has an album called Forest. So I thought that that was, that every song was some part of the forest doing something. And and in fact, I, I was wrong about that for all these years. I, I, I heard in an interview maybe two years ago now uh, that uh, it's actually you or it's actually a human, right? It's a, it's a person um, staring into the forest. So that was like, whoa. I never thought of it that way. I totally thought it was, you know, um, uh, the night or winter or the snow falling. Like, that's what it was. Not somebody staring at the snow falling or observing the snowfall, right? So, uh, yeah, uh, George Winston, uh, he just he just passed away, I think it was last summer. Uh, he, he had dealt with cancer, I guess, over a decade ago. Um I think he was in his 70s, but yeah, he just, he passed away last summer. Um, he had a couple transplants. Or, yeah, he, he definitely dealt with some, some, some challenges. So uh, anyway, uh, one of his last CDs, which was put out, I think, right before he died, uh, was this. And I just finally started listening to it. I popped it into my... Uh, my computer, I'm going to rip it. People are like, rip it? Like, you know, I'm sure some of you that are listening to this, like, you know what that means. But, you know, so now I can listen to it on my phone. I can listen to it on my computer. Um, but, yeah, George Winston, and I always thought this was fitting, right? The last one, he did all these albums about, you know, summer and autumn and winter and Christmas and Thanksgiving and, and the forest and Montana, where he was from. He loved that place. So the, to have the last album be called Night, I think, is so fitting. Uh, and I say last while well, he's alive, because there is some posthumous stuff that just came out. I think it's called Eastern Montana, so I'm still going to check that out. Uh, but very excited to, to listen to this. As usual, um, he has so many great influences, and he, he was like a musical librarian. Like, he knew... The great artists from New Orleans, um, uh, piano players. He was a big fan of The Doors. He has an album playing the renditions of the guy that plays keys for The Doors. I mean, he's just he he's just truly creative, and that's why he's one of my biggest influences. Because I just, from like a creative standpoint, the guy was a genius uh, and just beautiful, beautiful musician. And I was lucky enough to see him uh, probably. Oh, man, going on six years now, right? Uh, I reached out and was like, look, 
I reached out on their on his website. It wasn't directly to him, but you know whoever runs his website. And I said, I always see you're somewhere near me, but not exactly near me, uh, or I'm not in the area at the time. Um, and then like a month later, they emailed me uh, for the second time, I think, and said, Hey, just want to let you know we we booked a show in in Munhall. So it was the Carnegie. Was it the Carnegie Library or Carnegie Theater in Munhall? Uh, so I took my wife there. It was awesome. Uh, he played a little bit of guitar. He plays guitar too. Um, so he kind of like switched or, or um, transitioned into some guitar halfway into the set and then back to the piano. And then he does he did a thing. It was like he had two kinds of sets and it was like based on the year. One was like the winter show, one was the spring show. I can't remember which we were at, but I know the show was in March. Um, but it was just, it was amazing. It was amazing. Um, there was a, a sad, like a tragedy during the show, strangely. Some some uh, older woman, uh, kind of beside the point, but I, I feel weird not mentioning this. Like we're in the midst of the show, probably 20 minutes in, and we just notice he's playing piano and it's dark and we're up on the bat, like, uh, the upper decks, for lack of a better word, uh, in the theater, and uh, we just notice something going on. We see this: the the exit door open, there's an ambulance, and uh, apparently some older woman who was there, probably with her son and maybe grandchild, I'm not sure, or or you know, his, his son's wife, um, was had collapsed. I think she had like a stroke or a heart attack. It was. It was terrible. They didn't stop the show. They didn't make a big to-do about it. I, I know that kind of sounds callous, but, um, you know, George, had eventually, you kind of mentioned, like, I, you know, I just wanted to let you know that she's, you know, she's been taken to the ambulance. She said something about it, but it was like, geez, what, what a terrible event, right? <laughs> like, this woman just wants, you know, is probably in her 80s, just wants to see this world-class piano player, and, and that happened. So I felt really bad about that. Um, so I hope she's doing well. Or I have no idea, obviously, but it's just a strange incident. But yeah, George Winston, absolutely top five artistic, uh, creative musician influence for me. No, no doubt. No question. So looking forward to listening to this. Uh, leave a comment if you are familiar with his work. Uh, if you're interested in his work, if you're not, whatever, love to talk about him. Thanks.